the knowledge base of what we do in medicine needs to have advanced to the point where you understand what a cell secretes, how cells communicate, and what growth factors are, and what an exosome is, and the different types of The medical industry as a whole, and in particular, I think Big Pharma, realized very early on that cell therapy was the way the human body works, and they had to get ahead of the narrative before the science of using your cells to help you heal got kind of out of control. So the question is, are results guaranteed with stem cell treatments? I think that that answer is pretty easy because no one's going to guarantee someone a result with anything. When, when you go on a blood pressure medicine, they don't guarantee you it's going to work because we're, they're going to have to dose you up. They may have to dose you down. Your bulk, blood pressure may be multifactorial, and they may have to switch you to different meds. So I don't think anything's ever guaranteed. If the question is rephrased in that, is there any chance that the stem cell treatment, and we're talking about specifically, again, bone marrow aspirate concentrate, autologous cells, um, is there anyone that's going to hurt? No. You can't be allergic to concentrated bone marrow aspirate, which is an adult bone marrow mesenchymal stem cell. Is there any chance that a bone marrow doesn't make you any better at all? Probably not. No. Now, if you are metabolically compromised, 80-year-old diabetic smoker, is your bone marrow in that one concentrated dose going to be enough to make all your arthritis in your knee go away? No. It, is it going to make you potentially significantly better to not be inflamed and have an opportunity to actually heal cartilage? Certainly. And do most people see a fairly significant result from that treatment? Yes. That's why we've been doing this for 20 years. We've been doing bone marrow aspirate concentrate with a catheter I helped develop. It did develop. And with a system that we've been working on for a really long time, more than a decade now, on an outpatient delivery mode to give people autologous cell therapy into their site of injury. And that's the other thing, is, is it guaranteed to work? Depends on the problem. Do I feel really comfortable treating a, a chronic tendonotic area, lateral epicondyle, medial epicondyle, Achilles tendon, plantar fascia, rotator cuff tendonitis with one and done and, and, and assuming that that one treatment is going to make a big difference? Yes, because that's been our experience. I've been an orthopedic surgeon in private practice for 26 years. I feel very comfortable, 20, 28 years. Ugh. So I feel very comfortable with our results over the last almost three decades, um, not guaranteeing a result ever. No one's even going to, like, no one's going to replace your knee and said that's 100% of the time we're going to have full range of motion and never hurt. I would never do that. We still do a lot of knee replacements. I do a lot of arthroscopy, fix a lot of rotator cuffs. Do I ever tell someone, this surgery is going to get you 100% better, you don't have to do any therapy, you're not going to have to maintain some muscle mass, you're okay to just eat all the sugar you want, you don't need some vitamins, and we're, we're just going to heal you with surgery. No, that's not the way the human body works. So is anything guaranteed? Absolutely not. The, but as far as the risk of, and that's how the podcast got its name, right? The Zero Downside Podcast. Is the downside of stem cell therapy incredibly low compared to traditional intervention? Yes. Are there much easier to obtain results by helping your body heal the way it would like to heal? Yes. Is stem cell therapy, meaning bone marrow aspirate concentrate, let's just assume that going forward so I don't have to continue to say that, is there a chance that it doesn't make any difference in your inflammatory load and isn't going to help you heal cartilage at all? No, because the body uses those cells to help you heal now. We're not trying to change the way the body does anything. We're trying to augment its ability. So cell therapy whether it's for skin integrity, hair loss, chronic tendonitis, joint pain, cartilage growth, 
Is it a one-time guaranteed treatment that is guaranteed to work every time? No. It is for certain going to make an easier condition, injury, wound, right? So not every wound is on the skin. Sometimes it's your immune system. Sometimes it's your cuff. Sometimes it's a tendon. Is it going to make that wound stand a better chance of healing? Yes, because that's how the body would like to heal it. We're taking the cells that help you get to that point, concentrating them, and putting them where they would like to go. It's about resource allocation. It's about resource management. Your body runs. It has too many things to do and not enough resources to do it. We're trying to help it do a better job. Is it guaranteed? No. Nothing is guaranteed. Is it ever going to hurt anyone? No. I think that from a treatment protocol, I think of every problem as a flow chart. So when someone says, where should I start in my journey to obtaining healing for whatever it is that's bothering me, I think the cell therapy route is probably the easiest way to get someone over the hump that's keeping them from getting better. Again, thank you for signing in. This is Dr. Wade McKenna with the Zero Downside Podcast. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we're brought to you by MoabTexas.com.